So I'm sitting here at this little compost bin that we have at the farm in Marion and I wanted to talk a little bit about produce and the um, the illusions that we've been living in. You know, when we go to the grocery store, we expect to see produce that just looks fantastic. You know, it's just perfect in every way. No blemishes, no, no insect damage, nothing. And so we see that and subconsciously we think that we're getting something that's healthy because it looks good, right? But that's not the truth. You know, the truth is that the human body is a complete system and everything is inter interconnected just like the soil. And when we see this food that just looks so good, we assume that it's healthy for us. But in reality, it's kind of like a sterile food. Yes, it will provide the calories. The whole calorie argument is another distraction um, when it comes to our whole body system. But when we create compost, the beauty of creating compost from your garden is that you you take everything from the ground. You know, I take the the plants that are diseased. I take the plants that are healthy when they're expired, and I put them into my compost and it creates this process where life begets life right and so we have this idea of of like cures like right that's what vaccines are made for the same process applies to soil and when you have very healthy soil you're not going to have the pest issues you're not going to have the disease that you constantly have so the process of building soil up is actually a akin to the process of building up our gut microbiome they are the same thing so if the gut microbiome is the unconscious brain that is speaking to us that we don't understand its language it's screaming at us more carbon more carbon it needs more plants it needs healthier soil our brain then registers that as being oh it's carbon in the air that we're lacking when in reality carbon is something that's necessary for plant life so when we compost, we're taking the good, the bad, the ugly, we're putting it into God's crucible, his laboratory, and we're allowing his work to be done, uh, truly his work. And what we come out of that is an additive to our soil that is more resilient, more capable of sustaining life, and more uh, resilient to disease and all of the things that we have around us. So this idea of composting, Farmers have known about it for ages. It happened naturally in most farming communities in the days of yore, but now we are just polluting everything that we touch and it's polluting our soil. Our soil is screaming at us to do something different, right? Our gut microbiome is screaming at us to do something different. And our brain, because it can't communicate rationally uh, in language with, with our gut microbiome, our brain is trying to figure out what are these signals that the gut is telling us. And that is the result, uh, that is the root and source of the whole climate change hysteria. People looking into the air for all the problems and all the answers, they're looking in the wrong direction. We need to look at the soil, we need to look at the gut microbiome, we need to really begin to examine pure science and discover how misled we have been for decades.